this week the drugstore won't stop, can't stop. And also bougie stuff that just keeps coming out and I'm like, who the fuck gives money for that? So if you're interested in hearing what products are new in this world, well, keep on watching, skip the intro, you know the drill. Hello ladies, gentlemen, and everyone in between. Hi, my name is Mia and this is my virtual vanity, a place where we both love makeup and we're quite critical of it. And this is my third edition of Buy It or Deny It. A video in which I discuss all new things in the makeup industry and believe me every week there are just just lots <laughs> I am NOT the first person to do this kind of video the originator is Samantha March I'm gonna link her channel down below and she's been kind enough to create a playlist for us creators that do this type of thing so I'm gonna link that below too you know, don't forget to check her out, check the playlist out, it's, uh, it's really nice of her to do that. Without further ado, let's uh, get on with it. We have 17 things to discuss and for like the first half or more of the week, I thought it was gonna be a slow week. I thought the makeup world finally took a fucking break, but nah, just they won't stop, they can't stop, they just they gotta get your coin. And like on Thursday, Friday, Sunday and Saturday, they went insane. Like boom, 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 three, four releases a day. And I was like, fuck, slow the fuck, Jesus Christ. Okay, let's begin with Rihanna. So Fenty's coming out with a new highlighter, which is gonna be a sort of um, slight slate kind of gray with some hollow sort of iridescence from what I've seen. This is done in collaboration with the Clara Lionel Foundation and all proceeds from the sale of that highlighter is gonna um, uh, go to that foundation. Now the Clara Lionel Foundation was founded in 2012 by Rihanna and apparently it supports and funds education and response programs around the world. Now, the highlighter is going to be available on August 1st, exclusive to FentyBeauty.com, and it's going to be called Diamond Ballout. Um, I'm not going to pick this up for the sole reason that I don't see this working as a highlighter for me, and I'm not going to, you know, pay Fenty prices for this huge of a pad of fucking eyeshadow, gray eyeshadow, which I rarely wear. I don't see this working as a highlighter for a bunch of people. I see this working just for the darkest of the dark cool tones, like middle of Africa black skin tones, that, that type of skin tone. But if you really, if you want to pick it up, um, but you, you know it won't work for you, what I suggest is going to the Clara Lionel site and actually do a donation. Don't clutter up your vanity with a huge pan of highlighter that you won't be able to use. Do a bigger donation or maybe the price of the highlighter, just directly give the money to the foundation so they will go somewhere really helpful without cluttering your collection. Next up, Persona Cosmetics is coming up with their first liquid lipsticks, which are already available, and they're $16. There is a red, a nudish pink, and a complete nude. I'm not interested in these for two reasons. One, me and liquid lipsticks do not get along. I get butthole lips. I just... We don't get along. We're, we're two rival gangs liquid lipsticks and me just it's never gonna happen we are two two parallel lines never meant to intersect you feel me and two these are very basic colors like who doesn't have a nude a pink and a red in their collection for their um, brand it makes sense because these are their first three liquid lipsticks so if people have enjoyed the brand these are very safe choices for them to buy so if you have enjoyed the brand and the price point is in your budget, then I suggest go right ahead, get them, but I sure won't. Next up, something very bougie. Marc Jacobs is coming out with eyeshadow singles and they will be called the Omega Gel Powder Eyeshadow. They are already available and they retail for $29 mattes and shimmers. 
Now, this is obviously a very bougie product. I don't see anything quite special about them except maybe those last two, the pink and the red. If it's something that you will use day to day, I suggest maybe investing in them. However, if you have a big collection or if you have dupes for these colors, I don't find that it's worth to pay almost $30 on one eyeshadow single. If you want to be bougie and treat yourself, go right ahead, but I don't think it's worth it personally. Next up, Blush Tribe is coming up with titanium dust, which I think will be powder eyeshadows, like uh, pigments, and they look fucking beautiful. There is no release date yet. There is no release date yet, but as soon as they come out, I'm probably gonna grab two or three. Specifically, I am interested in Neelam, Taj, and Sahara, which you can see up here. I think they're absolutely beautiful, multi-chromes, I'm just, I'm definitely gonna go get them. Next up, Givenchy is coming out with more from their Lean Temporel Blossom collection, and these two products are coming out in October. There will be a Pearly Glow lotion, which I don't just... How bougie do you have to be to get a lotion from Givenchy? I'm not quite there yet. I don't think I'll ever quite get there. But I am interested in the second product, which is a Compact Cream SPF 15. It looks a bit yellow leaning to me, but if I do find the shade match, I might invest in some. Maybe, possibly. Back to cheaper things. Makeup Revolution came out with a new collab and I'm like, could you guys stop with the collabs already? This is the fourth collab palette in the last two or three months. I feel that they're doing too much, like that they should take a long ass break because they've been releasing stuff almost every two weeks. And when I look at this collab, you know, no shade, congrats to Kitsu, Kisu, whoever she is, but like, who asked for this? Like, the collab specifically, who wanted this? Um, what does this bring you to the table? It's literally pretty pink packaging, but the inside is a boring with a pop of blue. Like, you, we have seen this color scheme a hundred times already so i'm not gonna pick it up congrats to kisu but uh nobody asked for this next notoriously morbid is coming out with an awesome palette and it's already available so this is the renfield palette and it's inspired by vampires and dracula and the goth and everything and the names are all butterfly genuses like lepidoptera and all that kind of good stuff i love clever names like that and the palette will retail for 40 dollars which is a bit pricey but considering how high quality their shadows are i would probably get it sometimes in the future i hope it doesn't sell out real quick and knowing my luck it probably will then they have Five watercolor mystic matte lip stains, which retail between five five dollars and a half and twelve dollars, depending on the quantity that you select from their website. And then they have a weird sisters trio kind of thing, which is like a trio collection of eyeshadows inspired by the um, three three female aides of Dracula in the novel. And these will retail, retail between $10 and $27, depending on the amount. A bit pricey, but mm. I might get the palette. Depends uh, on my budget in the future, one or two months, because I do plan to get something from Igneous Cosmetics. Shout out to Pale Girl Chic for um, introducing me to them. I'm really excited to order from them and see what they're all about. But I will probably pick this palette up soon. Next up, Revlon, Revlon, Revlon is coming out with a limited edition Shoot the Moon collection. From what I've heard from my American friends, it's already available at Walgreens. On the Revlon website, it says to stay tuned because it will be available soon. So I don't know what to think. 
Probably it's going to be available August or mid-August because they do say that it's a summer 2018 collection. Now this collection will have 8 matte lipsticks and 8 metallics lipsticks which pass. 4 lip glosses which I might be interested in if they're nice. 4 eye paints, again I might be interested in those. 4 nail polishes, I'm sucker for nail polishes. Two cheek palettes and two glow gelés, which I would like to check out, and I'll probably will if they come into my country. Next, Catrice Cosmetics, a uh, popular drugstore brand, is coming out with a new limited edition collab with Malaika Rice of Malaika, Malaika Fashion. Incidentally, her name really sounds like Malaka in Greek, which is um, a vulgarish way of saying dude. I swear, my, my Greek friends, just, they don't teach me, you know, well, a, a kalimera, a kalispera, something like that. They, they've only taught me the bad stuff. So, shout out to them. But yeah, this um, collection is quite interesting to me because I do love Catrice and I do love trying out their new stuff. And I will be picking up some items. I've already ordered, ordered the nail polishes and one lipstick. So, this collection features three cream to powder products so one blush one bronzer and one highlighter now the blush i already have enough cream of blushes so i won't pick it, be picking that up the bronzer seems a bit too dark for me and the highlighter mm, i'm not interested in more cream highlighters than i already have there's also a healthy glow up primer which i might pick up there are two lipsticks, one that is a pinkish sort of magenta and another one which is like a dried blood red. I might pick up the magenta one because that shade of red I have plenty of. Then there is a makeup setting mist, two mini nail lacquers which I've ordered, one which is an iridescent glitter and another which is a pinky beige. Then there is a f multitasking face brush, which is one of those brushes that look like a toothbrush that were super hyped up at a certain point, but now I never see anyone use them and I don't give a shit about them. And then there are two brow pencils, which cater to blonde girls. So if you're a blonde, you might want to check those out. There is a strawberry blonde one and a regular blonde, blonde one. Next up, we have the new MAC Supreme Beam Collection, which features two brushes, one kabuki brush and one blending brush, two loose glow powders, which I'm gonna go check out in store and see if I like any of them, four Hyper Real foundations, which aren't actually foundations, I think they're more like glow drops that you mix into your foundation to give a sort of ethereal, ethereal, <laughs> ethereal sheen to your face. And then you have 10 glossy liquid powders that, from what I've understood, are both eye and lip safe, but I might be wrong, so ask if you are interested in those, and they're available soon. More bougie shit, Tatcha is coming out with the Kisu lip mask, not affiliated with the Kisu from before, and it's available now, and it's 30 fucking dollars for 0.3 ounces, and... What does this mask do for $30? I might spend $30 on it if it gave me Angelina Jolie's lips. But only then. Just, nah. Nah. Next up, Becca is coming out with a new collection called the Skin Love Collection, where they have one Skin Love Glow Elixir, which retails for $48, and it's a serum primer which is supposed to brighten, hydrate, and soothe. I might pick it up, I'll, I'll see. Then there is a Skin Love Weightless Blur Foundation which is 1.23 ounces for $44, medium coverage, soft matte finish in 24 shades with a nice gra gradient going on, like you have one light row, one medium row, one darker row. and. I'm not gonna pick this up because I am a dry skinned girl and matte anything just makes my face look like the Sahara Desert and we're not friends with matte. If you're a dry skinned girl like me, I suggest trying the Becca Aqua Luminous Foundation, which I stand that foundation. I probably talk about it in every video. It's, it's not healthy, but I do love it so very much. 
Next up, Ritual de Feel is coming out with a new Ash and Amber eye suit called Anima, which is a very beautiful peachy pink with a slight golden sheen to it. And those usually retail for like $30 and they're coming out also with a color set which features anima viscera which is um sort of a brownish red and another one anima viscera and which which was the other one i forget i'm gonna put it up here but it's a red set and until august 6th it's available and it will retail for 97 dollars and no joke I would have probably dropped that much money on that fucking red set but my salary comes only on the 7th so you know sa saved by the timing of my paycheck I'm not spending $100 on that unfortunately Stila is coming out with a new mini set which is already available it's $25 and it's quite neutral I'm not gonna pick it up I'll probably pick up sometimes in the future, in the far, far future, the Kitten Liquid Shadow, but these other two shades don't interest me much. Next up, Kiko is coming out with a Dark Treasure Collection, which is available in stores and it will be soon available online. So because I do not have any local Kiko store, I don't have any more photos than, you know, their promotional ones, but uh, you bet your sweet ass that I'm gonna go grab half of that collection guilty next up natasha denona is coming out with a new matte foundation which is going to be available soon and no pricing yet it, it's natasha denona it's it's gonna be bougie as fuck it's gonna be priced as if it's made from unicorn tears and angel sweat i'm not gonna buy it but if you want to buy that bougie foundation I, go ahead I'm, I'm not gonna judge you Next up, Ray Morris, speaking of bougie stuff from a makeup artist, is coming out with a incredibly transparent powder. Just not translucent, transparent to the point where you can see the back of the packaging. And it's gonna be $55. Uh, it's a no from me. It's a no from me. I mean, unless this thing just does wonders and fixes my face to the point where I look like a movie star, I might. But right now, just from what I look at it, from the packaging and the thing, it doesn't look like something I would spend $55 on it. Like the packaging looks like if I sh shake it a bit around in my bag, it's gonna fall apart to pieces. So, yeah. I mean, Ray Ray, you might have, couldn't you have just given us some bougie ass packaging if you're gonna charge us an arm and a leg for that? That, that would have been nice. That would have been nice. I mean, Hourglass gives us bougie, fancy ass, brick heavy packaging for $40 and you can't give us that for 55 Come on now. Really. But yeah, these have been all of the 17 new releases that I know of in today's week. Let me know in the comments down below what you would like to pick up, what you think is downright dumb, uh, what you recommend me to pick up, you know, all of that good stuff. And I will see you in the next video or maybe on the next Buy It or Deny It. God knows what you're interested in. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.